Ever wanted your home assistant to talk back to you in your own voice? Forget the generic robot assistants. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to clone your own voice for free using a powerful new open source AI called Chatterbox and integrate it directly into Home Assistant. Your smart home is about to get a serious personality upgrade. This is a video in a series of videos about local assistant. So if you want to know more, go check the assistant tag on my website. And if you're ready, let's go. But first, let me give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. If you're working on your own DIY electronic projects, PCBWay offers high quality PCB manufacturer, assembly and prototyping services at affordable prices. I use them for my own builds and their fast turnaround and excellent support make them a great choice for makers and professionals like us. Thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Chatterbox is a text-to-speech model that offers incredible zero-shot voice cloning. And you know what? I'm going to let it explain the rest. This means you can create a high-quality, realistic digital copy of any voice, including your own, using just a few seconds of audio. And don't worry, there is a built-in recognition pattern into the generated voices, so it is possible to detect if a voice was generated using the model. To deploy this locally, you are going to need at least 16 GB of RAM for a CPU-only configuration or a NVIDIA GPU with at least 6 GB of VRAM and Docker. If you want a guide on how to install Docker, you can follow the steps I showed on this video. Now first we are going to use the Chatterbox TTS, a project created by Travis VM. This implementation allows us to use Chatterbox with any OpenAI API compatible service. And it also has an excellent web interface that we are going to use to configure Chatterbox. For this, we need to clone the repository and set some environment variables. You can just copy and paste these commands from my website. Now, Select the Docker Compose file that you want to use according to your configuration. Enter it and then just wait. The first time it takes longer since it needs to download and configure the model for the first time. Once it's done, we need to open the web interface. You can use this link or open a new tab and enter the IP address of the device. From here, we need to upload a 10 to 20 seconds audio sample of the voice that you want to clone using the button Add Voice. Give it a name, then just select it by clicking on it, write some text in the description, and then just click on Generate Speech. After it finishes processing, you can hear it from here, text speech sample, and that's it. There are some advanced settings that you can tweak to get better results, but I think the defaults give an overall good result. And before we move on, there is a memory tab where you can find some memory related statistics and manage options. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss future smart home projects. Now, once we have it working, we need to integrate it into Home Assistant. For this, we are going to use the Open AI TDS a speech integration. To install it, you need hacks. If you don't have it installed yet, just follow the instructions from the documentation. With that taken care of, you can just use the button on my website to install it. Click on open link and then click on download. Then click on the need a different version drop down. From here, select the latest beta. Just select any 3.4 version or higher. Then we need to restart Home Assistant for this, go to Developer Tools and then Restart. After that, you can use this other button to start the configuration. Here, enter anything on the key since it is not going to be used and on the API endpoint, we need to update it with the IP address of our device. For this, just copy and paste this from my website and update the IP of your device. And then click Submit. Now enter Open AI TTS. Then click on Add TTS Agent. Give it a name. On Model, select TTS1. 
invoice, select the one that we created earlier and activate normalized audio volume. This is not actually going to normalize the audio. It is going to disable streaming. I found that the streaming is not working correctly with Home Assistant, but I couldn't figure out why. Luckily, just activating this allows it to work. It is slower since it needs to wait for the whole sentence to be generated. But for now, it gets the job done. Then click on submit. And now we just need to configure a voice assistant that uses it. For this, you can use this button on my website. Then on text to speech, just select the TTS we just configured. And then click update. Now, if you want to use it with the respeaker light or the voice PE, you can use this button to go to the configuration page of ESP Home and select the voice assistant we just updated. And that's it. Now let your smart home speak. With this, you should be able to get your local assistant to speak with any voice you want. I'm going to keep tinkering with this. Since right now, there is no way to configure Chatterbox directly from the OpenAI TTS integration. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my follow-up. Let me know in the comments what voice you are using in Home Assistant with this. And if you want help with Home Assistant, you can book a one-hour meeting with me. As you can see, I don't take no for an answer when it comes to a problem. I found the solution. So if you have any configuration or network design problems, automations drive you crazy, and surely can help you find the solution that works for you. If you like my work, please consider becoming a member on Patreon like all these amazing people. If you can become a member, you can always donate whatever you like using the button on our website. And if you can do that, don't worry, just remember to leave a comment on the video and share it with your friends. I truly appreciate all your support. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!